Hello, magandang araw. Ito pong muli si Teacher Arnold na Paño ng San Mayor Elementary School. Handa na ba kayo sa ating palibagong aralin? Come and join me. We will discuss about erosion. What happens after the rock breaks? When rocks are broken down into different pieces, it does not stay in one place. Some rock fragments become part of the soil. Others are transferred from one place to another. The movement of rock fragments and soil from one place to another is called erosion. Erosion of rock fragments greatly contributes to the soil formation as well as the formation of landforms. Just like in weathering, there are different agents of soil erosion. It includes water, wind, animals, and humans. Water. As water flows, it transports rock and soil particles from one place to another. The speed of flowing water affects the rate of erosion. The faster the water flows, the faster and farther the erosion will be. As water aids erosion, its color changes depending on the color of the rock and the soil particles that it carries. For example, water that flows from mountain can be brown because of the soil particles from the mountain that it carries. Mud left on the ground after flooding is also an evidence of erosion. Wind. As the wind blows, it carries light particles of rocks and soil, transporting and depositing them in another place. Strong winds carry the particles of soil in a distant place. Wind erosion can take place in any area where the soil is not compacted. When the wind blows, the particle of sand move along with it. Light particles of soil can be easily blown away by the wind. Why do you think that your mom always wipes the cabinet or the shelves in your house? It is because of the dust, right? Where did the dust come from? How did the dust get there? Animals. Animals also contribute to the transportation of sediments. When burrowing, animals dig the ground. Some rock and soil particles stick to their bodies. As they move from one place to another, they carry soil particles too. Humans. Humans have a major contribution to the rate of soil erosion in the environment. Just like animals, whenever we walk, the soil clings to our shoes, so the soil gets transported from one place to another. Other human activities like gardening can also cause soil erosion since soil moves as we dig the ground. When quarrying, the impact created by blasting rocks and soil particles triggers soil erosion. Huge volumes of soil and sand get transported when they are used in the construction of houses and other infrastructures. How does soil erosion affect us? Effects of soil erosion landforms. Although soil erosion happens every time, the appearance and structure of landform do not change overnight. It would take hundreds of years to change the appearance and the structure of a certain landform. Soil erosion can destroy large masses of land. It can also transform a mountain to a hill or plateau. Excessive deforestation, mining, and conversion of mountain to a residential or commercial land could trigger erosion that can be destructive to the environment. The effects of soil erosion on living things. Plants get most of its nutrients from the topsoil. The topsoil contains the organic materials produced by dead plants and animals. 
However, this topsoil is usually carried away by wind and water. Once the topsoil is gone, the nutrients for plants will be carried away as well. This makes the soil dry, coarse, and eventually unfit for vegetation. In addition, sediments that are washed away by water can clog irrigation systems and can further inhibit the plant's water supply. Another negative effect of erosion is the occurrence of mine tailings. Mine tailings are the mineral waste or leftover after the mining process. Erosion brought about by water can wash mine tailings to nearby bodies of water and pollute them. Polluted seas and rivers can affect aquatic plants and animals, as well as the portable water supply of animals and humans. Remember, maraming salamat sa inyong pagkinig. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!